Okay, just found this article. I haven't read it yet. I thought we could go over it together. And you guys let me know. Next time I do this, would you like for me to do it live? Or would you like me to just do it like this? I don't know. Okay, so what does it say? Fraternal Order of Police is suing the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office to challenge the policy. And they're talking about something to do with Marcy's Law, which is a victim's rights type thing. So if you would watch... Uh... The video, real quick. We'll watch part of it together. Live from the local station, News 4 Jack starts now. Right now at 5.30 in Jacksonville, a judge is considering whether police should be able to hide their names from the public under Marcy's law when they become crime victims. The Fraternal Order of Police is suing the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office for the rights for our officers to shield their name from the public when they are victims on or off the job. News for Jackson investigator Kelly Wiley has the story. Marcy's Law is Florida's Bill of Rights for Victims. Passed in 2018, it gives crime victims the right to be told when legal hearings involving the alleged suspect come up and even the right to have their names excluded from public police reports. But now Jacksonville's Fraternal Order of Police is suing the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office over their policy that its own officers can't invoke Marcy's Law in the course of its official duty. The attorney for Jacksonville's FOP says it's a constitutional right in Florida and should be afforded to officers. The law says if you are the victim of a crime, you can request Marcy's Law protection. So the issue has nothing to do with their employment, has everything to do with the constitutional rights of an individual in the state of Florida. And every individual should be afforded the same rights. I think we can all agree on that. In court Thursday, the city of Jacksonville's legal team argued police officers have several rights that civilians don't when they wear a badge. And the larger picture here is that police officers are afforded um, uh, plenty of protections when it comes to their personal information, addresses, and things of that nature. Uh, there is no provision anywhere uh, that would um, provide for uh, uh, the not disclosing a police officer's name uh, associated with um, on-duty activities. DePaul. Okay, and I'm not going to play the whole thing because that's their article. Um, but there's also, you know, you can read the article. I'm going to include the link. We'll have both. It should take you to the article and and to the um, video. So um, basically, they're wanting to say that they can, if they're a victim of crime, we have to look into this. I have to read the article and um, and see how we feel about it. So um, I encourage you to read the article and. To watch the whole video and leave your thoughts and opinions below thanks american amy appreciate all you guys i'm out one more thing i wanted to say a very wise person well he's one of the people he says that police give up their rights for privileges and that's true so like when they're on the clock they don't have the same free speech that we have um, so, them not being able to retract their name from a report because of Marcy's Law, which is meant for crime victims, you know, it might not be something they should have because they give up their rights for privileges. And the person that, I hate to put him in his person because he doesn't like to be stuff in his person all the time, but... You need to check his channel out if you want some great content. His name is Press On, and I would definitely check him out. He's um, taught me a lot, and uh, he's very good at speaking with police. So check him out, and check this article out. And this is the great meme that Unsub Press made for me. I thought I'd share that with you guys while I was running my mouth. Okay, I'm out for real this time. Bye. Thanks.